Today's a special day because today I'm moving out. I've been waiting for this for a long time in the 6 a.m. and I've got my bags here. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be traveling the world while working because I can, because I don't have any location dependent, but also just because it's way more affordable than staying here in the Netherlands where everything is expensive. So what I'll be doing is I'll be traveling to the cheaper countries meanwhile working in the West, which is called geo arbitrage because you're making money in this more expensive country and then you get to spend it in the cheaper countries. And therefore, you get to live a more wealthy lifestyle. I'm very excited for it. It hasn't always been easy here at home with my parents because they didn't have any certainty of me becoming a success. And I completely get that because there's so many people out there trying it, but it doesn't mean that everyone is going to succeed. So they didn't know if I was going to become a success or not, which is completely understandable. On the other hand, however, they also never really gave me a chance at the beginning. They were just like, no, you're getting scammed. So I have to say that, but on the other hand, I, I get it because the middle class mindset is completely different from a wealthy mindset and that's the first lesson i want to give you i've had it resisted from day one and i still did it because i'm stubborn to that extent that i just follow my own path without listening to outside circumstances and environments and without listening to outside influences and people who think that they know it better than me never listen to a fat teacher on how to become fit so this is my room i've lived here for the past 20 years and it's a small room but it's decent like i did my workouts here i slept here and i of course did my work here Am I going to miss it? Hell no. And I've got my bags here. This is a 45 liter backpack from Peak Design. And this is a 20 liter backpack from Peak Design as well. Some do count the vibe. This year, blessing, money, testimony. Go to follow, 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 you they go. This year, good news, die, plenty, bondly. Go to follow, 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 follow. I just arrived, it's 3 a.m. I had a 11.5 hour delay. It is what it is, you know, but at least I'm here. Apartment looks good. I rented it for 600 euros for a whole month. I'm in Macedonia in Skopje and uh, yeah, that's it for today. Imagine having a 12 hour delay. Well, you at least learn to have some patience, you know? So it's Monday, eight days after I arrived. The videos you just saw, they were from this weekend. So I've already been here for a week by that point. But yeah, I had a lot of fun, met a lot of people. But to be honest, there's a lot of distraction in the bigger city. You have to learn to say no. Because I was planning on working for the whole week. But then there were so many people that I met and so many things to do that I just decided like, okay, I'll, I'll take this week or I'll... To be honest, I'll take this day and I'll take this day and I'll take this day and I'm going to do the more work tomorrow. And now like Monday, it's a reset day and I'm learning from my feedback analysis. And I'll just realize that there's never ending opportunities. There's always something to do and there's parties to go to in these bigger cities. I'm in the capital of Macedonia. It's called Skopje. And there for like, you, you don't need to have FOMO because you're always going to miss something. Uh, I downloaded Instagram last week and on average every day I spend about two and a half hours just scrolling through Instagram. And this is coming from a guy who's really hyper productive most of the time and he wakes up and just gets to work. And now I spend two and a half hours just on social media, I wake up and just on my phone. It is quite a distraction and I was kind of 
amazed by the fact that some someone like me who's been working so hard for a long period of time would still be distracted by Instagram. I was like, you know, I can use the app because I know how to focus. But there was just some arrogance in combination with ignorance because your brain doesn't change. So this past week I spent like 15 hours just on Instagram and then we haven't even talked about other apps, right? So now I removed it again. I even removed Spotify because the music also distracts you. If you wake up in the morning and you start listening to music right away, you start from your day with high dopamine making you lazier the rest of the day. So of course you can still listen to music in the morning, but I'd, I'd like it more to have some silence so you can start thinking about the day and what you want to do. That's way better. So that's why I removed Spotify from now on and I'm just going to be listening to music after I work or later on during the day. Like music is still fine. Just be aware of it. So anyway, I'm super proud of myself and super grateful that I'm here. I've worked towards this for the past two and a half years and I, I fucking did it. Like guys, I did it. I fucking did it. And when I was 17, I would have imagined this to happen because everything starts in your imagination, right? But for it to become real, it still is like, oh my God, like I'm three minutes away from the center. Everything is close by, but the main point is I'm independent. I'm living on my own. I don't have parents telling me what to do or giving me a certain negative energy because I have to go to college or university. No, I'm my own boss now and I don't have to work for any other job or boss and that's freedom you know i don't really care to be honest i don't really care about having a lamborghini or having a mercedes whatever it may be that i'll be buying when i have way too much money but i don't care about it i care about financial freedom in terms of location freedom time freedom and financial freedom so i don't want to have to do things that i don't want to do and i want to be able to do the work whenever I want to do it. So if I just want to not work for a whole week, then I want to be able to do that. So I'm not attached to the work. I want to have assets making me money while I sleep. And then I don't want to be dependent on the location to be able to make money. For instance, I could be making like a million a year, say like a million a year. But if I had to be in only one city as compared to being able to travel while working, then it would be way less valuable to have the money than if I was able to travel the world and buy experiences basically and get into a nice Airbnb and have fun ac activities. So it really is about those three. You want to have the financial freedom, but also the time and location freedom. And now I basically got it. Of course, I cannot go to the more expensive places that I want to go to yet. For instance, if I went to London with my $5,000 a month income, yes, I, I maybe could just get by, but it wouldn't be as nice as here because here I can go out for dinner every day and I spend like $10, $10. or yesterday I spent $25 on a meal but I got one kilogram of meat in return. So this was a video of me moving out. I'm super grateful and I'm super proud that I've accomplished this. This is partially from the outside but also largely from the inside. Like I have put in the work for the past two years and I've stayed focused and I've been patient until I got my result. But on the other hand, I've also been super, super lucky. I can't even tell you how many times I've been lucky in order to achieve this success. However, However, there's something called force luck. So let's say you are lucky with a girl. Like, oh, you're so lucky you had that girl. Well, what if you approach 100 girls a week? Would you still be lucky? Or if a gold miner goes to 100 places to mine for gold and only one place has a bit of gold that makes him a large amount of money, do you call him lucky? Yes or no? And also, after so much experience, he has the ability to recognize opportunities in front of him. So these are the two types of luck that you want to combine together. First, you have the force luck. You want to have the quantity because the quantity will lead to quality. If you approach 100 women, then eventually you'll have a lot of quality and you'll get better at talking to girls. And secondly, if you have that skill set to be able to recognize where the gold is and then have that quantity to find it then you're also using opportunity luck so you found opportunities where you can find gold so it is the same with the business i've had hit the wall like a hundred times and eventually you'll find the gold and that's how it works with everything in life so yes i have been lucky but it's also been through a lot of force and a lot of failures remember that i'm already in my fifth business model so i had to put in some work but i can promise you if you put in the work and you're patient then the force luck in combination with opportunity luck will find you so it's partially done by yourself and it's also partially dependent on having good luck and having timing. It is the truth, guys. And some people are going to be less lucky than other people. Let's imagine that there's 10 doors and one of the doors is going to have the goal. Well, maybe you open up the other nine doors before opening up the 10th. And maybe you have this other guy who opened only like three doors and the third door had the goal there. So you could say that this other person is more lucky, but it is really just a matter of chance. That's what I believe at least. So 
just view it as okay the more force i put in the more chances i have at winning the lottery and of course don't, don't play the lottery but play the lottery of your business like try as many things as possible and eventually success will find you so to conclude work hard be proud of yourself and be grateful for everything that the universe has given to you and i'll talk to you later